Shalom, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah Bahashim Rakakadash. Want to give double honors to our apostles and elders, a great Muslim that rule well and peace, blessing, and citation to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. My name is Yohanathan, coming with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahshah. Lord willing, this video is edifying. And, you know, gonna get uh, straight to the point on this video. And, you know, I was, you know, on the net scrolling and I seen this video and it was a bunch of, you know, two third Jakes, you know, breaking into a, you know, a designer store and they were, you know, stealing um, handbags and purses and, you know, things of that, you know, things of that nature. And the title of the video, matter of fact, you know, let me get it right now. And it's uh, this one right here, you know. Uh, you know, it's for Valentine's Day, man. And, you know, that's just to show you, you know, the sorcery behind this day and the things that, you know, these people do, you know, to serve their woman, man. You know, going to a store and stealing, you know, just so they could get some bags. And, you know, also for their, you know, for their flesh, they lust. Because talking about, uh, it says on the, the top, 160K worth of products, man. So that's just to show you, man, you know, not only, you know, Valentine's Day is, you know, a wicked holiday, but, you know, to show you that Jake would do anything, you know, for his woman, man. But, you know, let me get some, uh, let's get to the scriptures. And I also have this article. And I also have this article on the dark origins of Valentine's Day, you know, read through that a little bit, but we could close it off on that, but. You know, first, uh, we're going to start on, um, we can start at, all right, this is First Edris, chapter 4, verse, start at verse 18, and it reads, yeah, and if men have gathered together gold and silver or any other goodly thing, do they not love a woman which is comely in favor and beauty? Verse 19, and letting all those things go, do they not gape and even open mouth fix their eyes fast on her? And have not all men more desire unto her than unto silver and gold or any goodly or any goodly thing whatsoever? Meaning that, you know, men, you know, men like gold and silver, but, you know, men will also have, you know, more favor in, in, in the side of their eyes than you know, gold and silver, you know, you know, more than like they would rather rather, you know, have their eyes set on a woman than, you know, a woman with beauty than uh, gold and silver. Verse 20, a man leave, leave his own father that brought him up in his own country and cleave unto his wife, you know, meaning that, you know, a man would, you know, leave, I mean, leave his father, you know, and his own country. You know, all the things his father taught him, you know, took care of him, all that. And, you know, cleave unto his his woman. Verse 21. He stick it not to spend his life with a uh, slocky. Read that again. He stick it not to spend his life with his wife. And remember, neither father nor mother nor country. Meaning, you know, his mind is set up on spending, you know, his life with his woman. And, you know, um... He's not, he's not thinking about his father, mother, nor where he came from. Verse 22. By this also, you must know that women have dominion over you. You know, and, and you see that, you know, and not just today, but this was going back, you know, in, in this time as well, man. You know, some women, you know, some women make men do, you know, crazy things, man. You know, men bug out because what the scriptures say, um... That woman have dominion over us, you know, speaking, you know, and when a man is not in his right mind. Uh, keep reading. Do ye not labor and toil and give and bring to all? Shalak, so like, I'll start from the top. By this also you must know that woman have dominion over you. Do you not labor and toil and give and bring all to the woman? Meaning that, you know, man goes... You know, man, go on the plantation and work all day and night, you know, just, you know, you know, so he could, you know, bring it back to the woman, man. Like meaning that, 
You know, a man will, you know, damn near lose his life doing, you know, doing something just so he could, you know, come back to his woman and show, hey, I got this. You know what I'm saying? Um, verse, uh, verse 23. Yeah, a man taketh his sword and goeth his way to rob and steal, to sell upon the sea, upon rivers, man. And I, I, this was the point, you know, this was, you know, mainly the point I want to get because, you know, going back to this. Going back to this video, man, these dudes, you know, they robbed and steal, you know, for, for what? You know, basically for, for their woman. You know, yes, they probably robbed for money, but, you know, you hardly you ever see dudes rob a, a Chanel store, man. What what does Chanel have, man? They got these purses, you know, so, and, and you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. So, you know, these dudes, you know, going back to the scriptures, man, these dudes were you know, uh, take their sword. The modern day sword is a gun. You know, they take their sword to, you know, basically serve their woman, man. Because in this time, you know, woman, you shouldn't even be celebrating this folly day, uh, Valentine's Day anyways. But, you know, these women don't want a box of chocolate in a car. These women want these high end exp expensive gifts, man. So that's what Jake is doing out here. You know what they do? They want to go rob. Rob and steal from the store, man. Still, basically, but to keep reading, verse twenty-four, and look upon a lion and goeth in the darkness, and when he has stolen, spoiled, robbed, he bring it to his love, man. And that's what these dudes about to do. They getting all these purses, these bags, which maybe shoes, and what they about to do? They about to bring it to their woman, man. You know, you know, just showing, you know, you know, Jake. You know, like like I said, man, if a man is not in his right mind, his woman's gonna have dominion over him. But you know, going back to this folly day, man, that you know this day is really a sorcery. You know, if you're really thinking about it, this is a sorcery holiday, man, because not only is it woman worship, you basically worshiping a woman, man, because you know uh, men don't get no happiness or they don't get no benefit on Valentine's Day, man. It's Valentine's Day. This day was really a day to worship women, man. Put women on a pedestal, you know. So, you know, going to read a little bit of this and, you know, we could close out because, you know, pretty sure brothers made videos and went all into this. But just to, you know, show you that, you know, this day is not like what you see about little cute babies with born arrows shooting it. Man, it's, it's deeper than that, man. But these people don't, you know, these people don't know that, you know, these people just follow something, you know, can't just, you know, follow some or celebrate something without really truly doing the research. But, you know, we always doing it, man, back in the world, you know, the water, how about Shumi Al-Shah, he awakening us, you know, out of that, that low state, that drunk state. But let me start from, um, uh, see, Valentine's Day is the time to celebrate romance and love and kissy face fealty. But the origins of this festival of candy and cupids are actually are actually dark, bloody, and a bit muddled. Though, though no one has pinpointed the exact origins of this holiday, one good place to start is in ancient Rome. And, and that spiritual, you know, we, we back right now. Or men hit on women by, well, hitting them. Um, from February 13th to 15th, the Romans celebrating, celebrated the Feast of Lupercalia. The men sacrificed a, ghost, a goat and a dog, then whipped women with the hides of the animals that they just slain. The Roman Ro Romantics were drunk. They were naked, says no Noel Linsky, a historian at the University of Colorado at Boulder. Young women were actually lined up for the men to hit them. Linsky says they believe this would make them fertile. Well, man, you get the point. You know, I'm not even going to read this because, you know, you you know don't celebrate this holiday. But, you know, the point of the video was, you know, you got Jake, you know, doing all this crazy stuff, you know, just for, you know, a, a wicked date. They don't have no, you know, um, history on or you know, information or knowledge on, man, but, you know, just another, you know, woman worship, you know, woman worship holiday, folly day, man, but, you know, the point's been made, you know, Lord willing, you brothers edified, 
With that, said, with that being said, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to our apostles and elders, a group most on every well, and peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole four elect. Scattered abroad. Till next time, Shalom and the Bhagavad.